Arthur's Honey Bear Stories and Pictures by Lillian Holbin It was spring cleaning day. Violet was cleaning out her toy chest. She made two piles of toys, one to keep and one to put away. Arthur was sticking stamps into his stamp album. I'm going to clean out my toy chest too, said Arthur, and I'm going to have a tag sale. What is a tag sale? asked Violet. A tag sale is when you sell your old junk, said Arthur. I don't have any old junk, said Violet. I want to keep all of my toys. When I was little, said Arthur, I wanted to keep all my toys too, but now I want to sell some of them. Arthur began to clean out his toy chest. He took a pile of toys to the back steps. Arthur took his hula hoop, his yo-yo, a pile of finger paintings, and his china horse. He took his Noah's Ark, his baby King Kong, his sandbox set, his old maid cards, and his rocks and marbles. Then he took out his honey bear. Father gave me honey bear when I had the chicken pox, said Arthur. Honey bear always tasted my medicine for me when I was sick. Arthur moved honey bear behind baby King Kong. Now I will make these price tags, said Arthur. Let me help, said Violet. You can cut the paper for the tags, said Arthur, and I will write the prices. Arthur made a big sign. It said, buy, buy, buy. Things for sale. Rocks, marbles, pictures. Three and four cents. Toys, 11 and 12 cents. Follow the signs. Then Arthur marked the the pieces, the prices on the tags. He put tags on all the toys and pictures and rocks and marbles. You didn't put a tag on Honey Bear, said Violet. He is in very good shape, said Arthur. He has only one eye missing. Maybe I should sell him for a lot of money. Maybe I should sell him for 31 cents, said Arthur. His ear is raggedy, said Violet. Well, said Arthur, I have not made up my mind yet. He moved Honey Bear all the way behind Baby King Kong. Now, said Arthur, we have to make arrows. Then everyone will know where the sale is. Violet cut arrow shapes out of paper. Arthur wrote tag sale on them. Arthur and Violet hung the arrows on trees. Now we will wait for someone to come and buy, said Arthur. They waited and waited. They had some cupcakes and milk. 
Violet had a chocolate cupcake with white frosting, and Arthur had one with pink frosting. Then Norman rode up on his bike. How much are the cupcakes? He asked. I have three cents. The cupcakes are not for sale, said Arthur, but the rocks are three cents. So are the some of the pictures. Norman looked at all the rocks. I don't see any I want, he said. Then he tried the yo-yo. It doesn't snap up, he said. Who wants to pay 11 cents for a yo-yo that doesn't yo-yo? He picked up the old maid cards. Only babies play old maid, said Norman. I play old maid, said Violet, and I'm not a baby anymore. This is not a good sale, said Norman. My old toys are better. He got on his bike and rode away. Here comes Wilma, said Violet. Maybe she will buy something. Tomorrow is my sister's birthday, said Wilma. Do you have anything good? Well, said Arthur, here is a very nice hula hoop. It's bent, said Wilma, and my sister has a hula hoop. Here is a china horse, said Arthur. How much is that the bear, asked Wilma. What bear, asked Arthur. The bear behind baby King Kong, said Wilma. It doesn't have a price tag. Oh, said Arthur quickly, he cost a lot. Well, how much, asked Wilma. Your sister won't like him, said Arthur. She is too old for stuffed animals. No, she isn't, said Wilma. She takes her stuffed pig to bed with her. Well, said Arthur, I will sell him to you for 50 cents. All right, said Wilma. She took 50 cents out of her pocket. Do you want, do you gift wrap? asked Wilma. No, said Arthur. Well, said Wilma, I don't have money for gift wrap paper. If I buy a present at the toy store, they will gift wrap for nothing. Wilma put the 50 cents back in her pocket and walked away. Arthur looked at Honey Bear and hugged him. He held Honey Bear and ate the rest of his cupcake. I wish someone would buy something, said Arthur. Violet said, I will buy something, Arthur. I will buy your Honey Bear. You don't have any money, said Arthur. I have 31 cents, said Violet. I can give you 31 cents and my brand new Color Me Nice coloring book. None of the pictures are colored in yet. Well, maybe, said Arthur, but maybe I want to keep Honey Bear for myself. I thought you said you don't want to keep... Your old junk, said Violet. Honey Bear is not old junk, said Arthur. He is my special bear. I will give you 31 cents, my Color Me Nice coloring book, and my box of crayons, said Violet. Only the purple one is broken. Honey Bear has been my bear for a long time, said Arthur. He wants me to take care of him. I will give you 31 cents, 
my coloring book, my crayons, and half a box of Cracker Jack with the prize still in it, said Violet. Well, all right, said Arthur. So Violet gave Arthur 31 cents, her crayons, her coloring book, and a half box of Cracker Jack. Arthur gave Violet his honey bear. Arthur took all of his sales things and put them away. He put the 31 cents in his mailbox bank. He ate some of the Cracker Jack. He read the fortune on the prize wrapper. The fortune said, someone you love is gone. The, a ring was inside. Arthur put it on. Then he colored a picture in his Color Me Nice coloring book. He colored a picture of, of a boy holding a teddy bear. Violet came in holding Honey Bear. He was dressed in a pink tutu. He was wearing a necklace and a bonnet. Honey Bear is a boy, said Arthur. He does not like those clothes. Honey Bear is my bear now, said Violet. I will dress him the way I want. You don't know how to take care of him, said Arthur. Well, I'm his mother now, said Violet, and I am taking care of him. I think Honey Bear misses me, said Arthur. He wishes... He were still my bear. Well, he's not, said Violet. She took Honey Bear for a walk. Arthur sat down and ate some more Cracker Jack. He took the ring and put it on a different finger. He opened the Color Me Nice coloring book again. Then he whistled a little tune and thought for a while. Violet came back. She sat down with Honey Bear. Arthur thought some more. Then he said to Violet, Violet, are you my little sister? Yes, said Violet. Well then, do you know what I am, said Arthur? You are my big brother, said Violet. Yes, I am, said Arthur. And do you know what that means? No, said Violet. That means I am Honey Bear's uncle, said Arthur. Arthur picked up Honey Bear and hugged him. I am your uncle, Honey Bear, said Arthur. I will always be your uncle. And do you know what uncles do, said Arthur? What do uncles do, asked Violet. Uncles play with their nephews and take them out for treats, said Arthur. Honey Bear likes treats, said Violet. Can I come too? All right, said Arthur. Arthur took the 31 cents out of his mailbox bank. Then he and Violet walked Honey Bear to the candy store. Arthur and Violet and Honey Bear had chocolate ice cream cones. Honey Bear ate his ice cream cone on his uncle's Arthur's lap. Honey Bear, I am glad I will always be your uncle, said Arthur. Then Violet and Arthur helped Honey Bear eat all of his ice cream. <laughs>